Hello, my name is Miguel Tellez from the Reus company. Today, we are going to talk about how to configure a relationship time metric. But first, let me show you a brief explanation about this metric and its use. The goal of this metric is to provide means for checking that your grammar specification is aligned with the relationship types that we want to have. With this metric, we can compare the number of different relationship types found in the requirements specification against the selected ones in our metric configuration. This metric returns a value from 0 to 1 calculated from relationship types selected in the system knowledge base among all selected from our metric. Now we are going to see how to configure this metric. The first step is to select the specification of requirements. We are going to choose the system requirements, which we have previously assigned a baseline metric. We can see five requirements in our specification. In the second step, we select Workbook Configuration tab and click on Completeness button. Then, click right on the grid, add new metric, and select Relationship Types Coverage. In this example, the name of the metric is not very important, so we don't overwrite it. Then, we select the relationship types that we want to check if they are generated in our specification. For example, we can choose aggregation and composition relationship type. Then, click on Accept button and click on Accept button again. Remember, these relationship types are formalized by a pattern or patterns matched by the requirement. Now, we are going to select the pattern we want to generate the relationship with, click on Add Pattern Links and select Physical Property and Singularity Generic, for example. Click on OK button and click on Accept button. Now we will return to the Quality Control tab. Click on metric button from the completeness side and over our metric select recalculate quality. Click on this button and now as we can see in the score column we have 50%. This means our quality is low. We can change the rate configuration in the metric configuration. Now, we are going to explain the detailed metric results. In the metric result tab, we can see requirement specification incomplete. The percentage of incompleteness is 50% because only one of our two selected relationship types have been generated from the specification through the selected pattern. We can see this with more details. In the group of relationship types selected in the metric but not found in the specification, we can see composition relationship. In this group, Relationship type selected in the metric and found in the specification, we can see aggregation relationship. This relationship type is generated by these three requirements of our specification. Also, we can see the relationship type found in the specification but not selected in the metric. If we click here, we can see a more detailed explanation about this. Okay. As you can see, the second tab makes reference to relationship types which are the first two sections of our first tab. In addition to that, in the requirements coverage section, we can see not only the requirements that generate our selected relationship types, but also the requirements that generate relationship types have not been selected in the metric and those that don't generate any relationship type. The requirements tab reference a requirement that generate or not a relationship type and which relationship types are those that we have selected. In this group, we can see requirements with at least one relationship type selected in the metric, 60%. In this group, we can see requirements with the relationship type but not selected in the metric. And the final group, we can see requirements not generating relationship. Filtering tab contains detail about the requirements that match the filter set in the configuration to be analyzed, but no filter was set in our case. And finally, 
we can see in the different relationship types how many requirements have generated. Okay. Remember that we selected aggregation and composition, but not safety. One requirement generates safety relationship type. Anyone generated the composition relationship type. And three generate the aggregation relationship type. Thanks for watching.